Hello, everybody, again. Welcome to the second episode of Inside Definity. Um, this Inside Definity series looks at R&D processes um, inside of the Definity Foundation by um, extracting segments from our global R&D meeting. So you can actually see what's going on yourselves. Um, this week, I've chosen to um, highlight some of the work um, that integrates the network nervous system with the Ledger hardware wallet. This functionality has been um, requested by many people for some time. So at the moment, the easiest way to manage a balance of ICP and to stake neurons and manage neurons and vote and so on is to use an internet identity handle, which, which is a anonymizing blockchain authentication system in conjunction with the network nervous system front end DAP, which is served directly off the internet computer blockchain. Because as you know, the internet computer is the only blockchain in the world where smart contracts can actually serve interactive web content directly and securely to users without intermediaries um, in, in delivering a sort of genuine web 3.0 model. Um, so today, um, you know, I, I use it. You, you can um, use the fingerprint sensor on your laptop, uh, Face ID, uh, YubiKey, um, a ledger with WebAuthn, um, whatever you like to authenticate yourself using Internet Identity to um, the NNS front-end app and, and, and manage your ICP to send them to somebody else or, um, you know, set up and uh, configure a new own. Um, there is, however, um, one danger, and that is what happens if a hacker has completely taken over your laptop, say, or even your phone, because you can do this from your phone. In that case, um, al although you're going to be able to authenticate using internet identity, the hacker might um, take control of your web browser and actually modify that user interface, that network nervous system front-end app that you're interacting with inside the browser and, and do something malicious, um, perhaps even try and steal some of your ICP. So if you're very paranoid and if you're managing very large amounts of ICP, um, you might get a bit concerned about using um, the, the network nervous system front-end app in conjunction with II um, to manage your assets. So to address this, um, some people, um, use the command line rather than the network nervous system front end app, which is a little, you know, a little bit clum clunky and requires a high level of technical skill. So we wanted to increase the level of security attainable by everybody. Okay. So um, to solve the problem, we've created, or, or, or a, a partner company we've been, work we've been working with has created. Um, a new app for the Ledger hardware wallet. Now, um, this does three things. First of all, it allows you to manage uh, a balance of ICP and neuron staking from the command line in conjunction with the Ledger hard hardware wallet with much greater ease. And as you know, um, when you have a an app running on, uh, a native app running on the Ledger hardware wallet, um, you know, it's got a little screen, it's got a trusted user interface um, that you can look at to make sure that the transactions being signed are actually what you want to be signed. And that's something you don't get um, when you're using the, the network nervous system front end DAP today, because you can never really be sure that a hacker hasn't taken over your laptop or your phone and is modifying what you see. Led, the Ledger hardware wallet gives you a trusted UI, um, and you can actually verify what transactions um, you're signing on that, that UI. So first of all, this new app on the Ledger hardware wallet allows you to um, manage balances of ICP and neuron staking with much, much greater ease from the command line and allows you to verify every single transaction um, that you're signing on, on the trusted UI, okay? Secondly, it also allows you to add the network nervous system front end app, your account there, as a what we call a hotkey to the account you're managing 
on the ledger device. And that means while all of the major actions have to take place um, via the ledger wallet on, on the command line, you're actually able to, um, if you like, log into the account and, and, and um, via the network nervous system front end app and see what's happening via that nice, friendly uh, interface that pops up in, in, in your browser. Now, in the second mode, um, the browser interface will show you what's going on, um, show you your balances and your neurons and so on, but won't allow you to take any actions. It just allows you to see in a friendly way, um, you know, your different balances and your neurons and the, the state of the neurons and so on. The third thing this allows you to do is to actually add that ledger wallet, that hardware ledger wallet to an account in the network nervous system front end app so that you can take all of the major actions you'd, you'd want to take via the network nervous system front end app, such as sending people ICP or staking ICP or, you know, setting a, um, a neuron into dissolve mode. But while you can initiate the actions in a friendly way via the network, network nervous system front end app, you will still have to authorize the specific transactions on the ledger hardware wallet where the trusted UI, again, will show you the details of the actual transactions you're authorizing. So you can be absolutely sure that even if a hacker has taken over your laptop or phone, they can't trick you into doing something that you don't want to do. So um, this is a really wonderful demo. Um, some of the text is uh, quite small, so you're gonna need to you know, maximize your video player to see what's going on, um, but, but enjoy. This is, this is a really um, ma major advance that's been requested by a lot of people. Okay, uh, without any further ado, um, let, let's watch the, the, the demo. It's given, um, given by Islam. Okay. Sure. So I'm Islam. I'm on the execution team. And I will be demoing to you today our hardware wallet integration uh, and show you how you can use a hardware wallet as a self custody solution and potentially use it to participate in the stalwart program. So, what I have here is the Ledger Nano S. We've been working with a company called Zondax, they've been developing the ICP integration specifically for these types of wallets. And we have developed two ways for you to interact with these wallets. One is the NNS app, and the second is a command line. And I'll be demoing both of these to you now. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So on the left, I have an NNS app account that I just created, and I loaded it with some fake ICPs. And on the right, I have a command line. In this case, I have connected my wallet and loaded the internet computer app. And the first thing that I'm going to do is, I'm sorry, just fixing my screen. The first thing that I'm going to do in the command line is I'm going to show my info. So this is going to communicate with the hardware wallet and then fetch the principal and the account and my balance. And additionally, if you can see on the device, you'll be able to see my principal. So, so that way you can verify that the account information that is being displayed and the principal are indeed what's being shown on the screen. So in this case, I know my address and I have zero balance. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to use my NNS app to send money to oops, to send money to my wallet. So I'm going to create a new transaction from my main account. I'm going to paste in my wallet's address. I'm going to send 100 ICP. OK. So now I have 100 ICP. If I double check on the info, the dash N here just skips showing it on the screen. OK, 
Good. So now I have a balance of 100 ICP. Let's use that to create a neuron and participate in the stalwart program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stake a neuron and I want to stake one ICP. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this. And what I'm going to see on the wallet eventually is a stake neuron transaction. Then I can verify that it's coming from the correct account. And I can see that it's for one ICP, the fees that I'll be paying, the memo of the neuron. So I'm going to go ahead and approve this. And this is an ingress message. So it's actually two transactions. There's a transaction for staking the neuron. And then there's another transaction for getting the result. So this is to approve getting the status of the request. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I have staked the neuron. So I have a neuron now with this ID. And the next step is that I would want to lock this up uh, for a few years. Let's, so I'm going to go ahead and increase the dissolve delay, provide the neuron ID that I want to work with, which is this one. And I want to, to add a dissolve delay of four years and let's say of eight days to be right on time for the stalwart program. And now I'm going to see another transaction on the wallet to increase the dissolve delay, the neuron ID that I entered for four years and eight days. I can go ahead and confirm. Okay. So in theory, that's everything that you need to stake and participate in the stalwart scheme using the command line. But if we get back to the UI, you'll notice if I go to the neurons page, nothing shows up. And the reason nothing shows up is because my NNS app account and my hardware wallet account, they are completely separate. So the NNS app has no way of seeing the neurons that a hardware wallet creates. So in order to fix this, we have the notion of a hotkey. So I can add a hotkey to my neuron that gives what is effectively read-only access to the app so that I can see and track the neuron and track its maturity and vote and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and add the NNS, my principle on the NNS UI as a hotkey to my neuron. And I'm going to specify the principle the principle, I'm taking it directly from the UI. And that is another transaction. Okay, so I'm going to add a hotkey. Shows me the neuron ID, principle looks good. Okay, I'm gonna approve. Okay, that's done. Now, if I were to refresh the UI, give it a few seconds. Okay, so now I can see that now I have created a neuron with the command line, and now the UI is able to track it. And any action that I do, be it with the command line or the app, will be reflected in both places. So, for example, I'm now ready to start, start dissolving this neuron. So I can say start dissolving neuron ID. And that's another transaction. Okay, I'm going to start dissolving the neuron. Neuron ID looks good. Okay, and so if I refresh the UI again, I should see that the neuron is now dissolving as expected. 
yep, so the neuron is now dissolving. Additionally, I can, in the command line, I can list all my neurons in case I don't want to rely at all on a UI, which is yet another transaction. Okay, so to list my own neurons, so I approve. Yep, and here I can see the list of all my neurons and that it's currently dissolving. Now you'll notice if I come to the UI, I actually cannot really control this neuron at all. So for example, I cannot stop the dissolving of this neuron. Uh, we do offer a direct integration with the hardware wallet on the UI, but in order for it to work, I first need to attach the hardware wallet. So I'm gonna go down to the accounts page add an account and then click on attach hardware wallet i'll call it this is my ledger nano s just a warning is um you have one minute left oh okay okay so i'll be super quick then Okay, so now I've connected a hardware wallet. I'll, I'll just jump straight away to snaking within the UI to show you what that would look like. So I'm going to stake a neuron. If I were to go into this neuron, then I would be able to control it. But to stake a new neuron, I can come to the UI. And in this case, I want to stake a neuron with two ICP. And as you'd expect, a very similar transaction. So I would approve this. So now the neuron has been created. The UI offers me a convenient button to add it, the UI as a hotkey so I can track it. And now I can add the hotkey. And now I can also set a dissolve delay. I'm gonna set a dissolve delay of just over four years. I am sure. Okay, and by default, it adds the it follows the Internet Computer Association, but that would be all you need to create a neuron for the Stalwart program. And from here, you can start dissolving it, stop dissolving it, and, and remove hotkeys, spawn and disperse, and so on. I think the rest is, is fairly clear. Uh, so the changes that I just demonstrated will be pushed out next week to production. The CLI that I demoed will also be available in a repository uh, by next week. And there is a developer preview of the NNS of the Ledger uh, app that Sondax developed that you can download and install yourself if you have such wallet and want to test it out. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out on the NNS app channel or the hardware wallets channel. And that's it. Thanks a lot, Islam and everyone else. It was quite exciting uh, set of demos and updates. Uh, so thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, See you next week. OK, so that's super, super exciting. And um, I'm actually going to be switching over to this system as soon as possible. Um, it's going to vastly increase uh, the security available. Um, you know, for all team members that are watching, my, thank goes out to, my thanks goes out to you um, for getting this done. Um, great progress. Thanks, everyone. See you in the next episode.